Hello everyone and welcome to a short tutorial on how to create a newsletter by using our powerful tool, the Composer. As usual, you should access the site's WordPress dashboard and open the newsletter dashboard. Then, on the menu at the top of the page, click on newsletter and create a newsletter. Here starts the magic. You can choose between two main options. The first is using the responsive drag and drop composer and the second one gives to the most advanced users the chance to create their own newsletter by using raw HTML code. Here we will focus just on the responsive composer. When you open the composer, the first thing you have to do is to choose a preset. Each preset has a specific target and you may want to choose the one that is closer to your communication goal. Remember that you can fully personalize each preset according to your tastes and needs. Let's explain the main functions of the composer with an example, using the preset entitled Start with an Empty Project. Let's say, as an example, that our goal is to reach our followers and make them curious about our company's news. The first thing we recommend is to find a catchy newsletter subject and write it down. Remember that this is the first thing your subscriber will see, so try to be original and make them curious. As you can see from the menu on the right, the newsletter is divided in three main parts, the header, the content and the footer. All you have to do is to drag and drop the components you want to include in the position you prefer. Let's start from the header. Drag and drop the header to the top of the newsletter. As you can see, the header is automatically set up by using the company info. You can change them from the newsletter's settings or just by clicking on the link on the right side panel. Then, you have to set up the body of the newsletter and here you have a wide range of choices. If you want even more, just consider the option to upgrade to premium. Let's say, as an example, we want to insert a big heading and then our latest blog posts. Just drag and drop the heading box and put a catchy title and you're good to go. Let's do the same operation with the blog posts. And let's set up the design according to our preferences. For example, you can divide the articles in two columns and you can choose whether to show the article's images. Finally, let's conclude our newsletter by inserting the social media links and the footer, which allows the users to modify their subscription and to view the newsletter online. As you can see, the entire process is very easy and now you are ready for the final checks. On the menu on the right, you can check how the newsletter is opened on mobiles and you can send a test email to see if everything works properly. When you think your work is good to go, click on the next button. At this point, you have to select your audience you can choose, for example, to which list you want to send the newsletter and you can see a final preview of your work. Everything is sorted. You are ready to send the newsletter or you can schedule it for later. That's all for this video, remember to subscribe to our channels and to follow us to keep updated with our latest news. See you soon!